Today we will talk about Thomas Kuhn and paradigms. Most of us think of science as a slow, steady process, one discovery building on another until we reach the truth. But what if I told you that science doesn't always work that way? Sometimes it takes a complete shake-up, a scientific revolution, to move forward. That's exactly what Kuhn argued in his groundbreaking book, The Structure of Scientific Revolutions. So let's start with the basics. Kuhn introduced the concept of normal science. This is the everyday work scientists do, solving problems, running experiments, making discoveries, but all within an existing scientific framework. Think of it like playing a game. There are set rules and everyone follows them. But here's the catch. Underneath this normal science is something even more fundamental, the paradigm. So, what exactly is a paradigm? Well, according to Kuhn, a paradigm has two main parts. It includes the core ideas and theories that scientists in a field agree on, kind of like the foundation of a house. It also consists of classic scientific problems that have already been solved using those ideas. These act as models for future research, basically the how-to examples in textbooks. But a paradigm is more than just a set of theories. It shapes how scientists think, what questions they ask, and what counts as a valid answer. It's like an invisible rule book guiding an entire field of study. Let's make this real with an example. For centuries, people believed in the geocentric model, the idea that Earth was at the center of the universe and everything revolved around it. This was the dominant paradigm. Then, along came Copernicus and later Galileo, with evidence that the Sun, not Earth, was at the center of our solar system. This was a total game-changer. It caused a paradigm shift, moving science from the geocentric model to the heliocentric model. But here's the thing. Paradigms don't change easily. Because they define what scientists consider valid research, anything that doesn't fit, what Kuhn called anomalies, is often ignored or explained away. But as these anomalies pile up, they create a crisis. And when a new theory comes along that better explains the data, the old paradigm collapses and a new one takes its place. That's the cycle, normal science, anomalies, crisis, paradigm shift. So why does this matter? Well, Kuhn's idea challenges the way we think about science. It's not just about collecting facts, it's about how we interpret them. And it's not always a straight path to the truth. Sometimes it takes a total reset to move forward.